Hey guys, my name's Wynn and I make videos on how to style and manage curly hair. If you saw my last video, um, you'll see that I only wash my hair about once every three to four days and I got a lot of questions asking how do I style it on the in-between days, do I get it wet, and how am I sleeping with it to keep it looking nice. So this video is going to be all about that. Um, I'm going to take with take you with me morning and night um, for the next three days so you can see not only how to care for your hair at night um, but ways that you can wake up with it in the morning and take care of it through the next day. Now you may notice I'm in a different uniform than I typically wear and that is because I got this lovely farmer's tan the other day so please forgive me for that. All right so let's jump right into it. So the first thing that you're really going to want to get is a silk or satin pillowcase. Now I've had this one for maybe like four or five years. Um, you can see it's getting a little ratty these days, um, but it was a little expensive when I bought it and it, it's really held up and so I think it's been completely worth it. Um, this particular one is from, Sh that's like S-H-H, silk, S-I-L-K. And um, the reason you wanna do that is because a typical um, cotton pillowcase is really rough and over the course of the night when you're tossing and turning um, it tends to rough up your hair and a silk or satin pillowcase um, you know it just allows your hair to slide over it and you really wake up with much better curls in the morning um, you may be wondering whether you should do silk or, or satin I prefer silk just because it's a natural material um, Satin a lot of time is made out of polyester and that can just get hot over the course of the night um, but Honestly, um, this is probably one of the biggest tips I can give you is sleeping on a, a silk or a satin pillowcase um, For me, it was a huge game changer and really took my curl game um, a lot better in the morning um, You're really gonna have a lot less frizz in the morning So if you just wanted a quick tip and and that's all you wanted that would be my number one um, but if you really want to see how to preserve your curls in the next into the next three days please keep watching all right so tonight is actually um, day one for me so I wash my hair this morning and uh, this is kind of how it looks at the end of the day um, so this is my night routine on day one so the first thing I'm gonna do um, I've been using this uh, full length density elixir from a curl smith actually and this um, you use in combination with the serum which I'll actually use in the morning um, and I actually they sent it to me um, which was really nice um, and I wasn't super sure about it but since I had it I was just like let me give it a shot um, and I and I, if you take the time to google all the ingredients there's a lot of kind of science-based ingredients um, like rendezil, capixel, procapil, bicapil, and anagain. I may have said some of those wrong, please forgive me. <laughs> um, but when I did some research, I found that basically they keep your hair longer in the growth phase. Um, and really the biggest difference I've noticed using this is that a lot less hair falls out in the shower. Um, so I really only been using it for about two weeks, so time will tell uh, how it really works, but I'll, I'll definitely keep you posted. So since tonight is day one, we are going to use a bit. Um, and I will fill it up with like one dropper full, which you can see here. And then um, I'll put it kind of you know, right along my front scalp line, about at the middle, the back, the sides, and then the very back. And so all you do is just kind of put a little bit of a dropper full, you know, all around. Don't like squirt it on your scalp or anything, just like a single drop. You're not trying to like saturate your hair any or anything. And I really think one dropper is probably more than enough. Yeah, so that was one dropper. Screw that back in. And then just give yourself a nice like head massage. Um, try not to create too much frizz doing this because again, you're trying to preserve this over the next few days. Um, while I'm kind of giving myself a nice head massage, um, I'll tell you kind of like uh, through, the, through your day one hair, um, you really want to be like taking care of it. Um, try not to let it get blown around. If it does, just put it up in a clip. 
Um, don't mess with it too much. You really just want to keep the curls intact throughout the day. So wear it down, wear it in a half up, half down style, which you'll see me do probably tomorrow. Um, and you're just really trying to take care of it on this first day. Okay, so after you've put in the, the density, density elixir, um, there's three different styles you can do. Now I'm gonna go through them in order of difficulty and also order of ridiculousness, which you will soon see why that is. <laughs> so the first thing you can do is what they call a pineapple. Now to do a pineapple, you're either gonna want like a scrunchie. This is actually a silk scrunchie that I made for myself. Um, I made it out of silk for the same reason you use a silk pillowcase so that it um, isn't pulling on your hair at night. Or you can use um, a, we call these, I think there's like an Invisibobble version of this. Um, I don't actually know which this brand is called, um, but I liked it because it was fabric wrapped. And for me, that just seemed like maybe it would be better on your hair. Um, I'm gonna use this today. And what you're gonna do um, is just turn your head over and then gather it all up on top of your head. So hopefully you can see me doing this. Just like this. And then I only put it once over. I don't loop it twice, but for some people you might need to do it twice so it actually holds. And then you just kind of let it go out like this and it kind of looks like a pineapple and that's why they call it that. Um, so you can just see they're all on top of my head. This is not really too tight at all, um, but it's just kind of keeping them out of the way. And honestly, if you're growing your hair out, you have longer hair, um, I really recommend just getting it out of your face at night. And when you're sleeping on your pillow, this is gonna be great. So this is like, you know, not basic would just be like sleeping on a silk pillowcase. This would be a little bit more intense. It's gonna preserve your curls a little bit better in the morning. Um, and that's just wearing your hair in a pineapple style. Now the next one, gonna get some laughs on this one, is wearing a bonnet. So a bonnet is like this, and I bought this off a lady on Etsy who I'll link below. And um, basically a bonnet is something you wear over your head just to protect the curls at night. So it's like an added layer of protection. So if I was wearing the bonnet, I would have my hair like this, and then you kind of hold it like this, and then I just kind of like put it on the back of my head first and then go on the front, kind of tucking all the curls in. And that's kind of how that looks. Now, to be honest, this one works pretty well. Um, I, I it, it, usually it doesn't fall off. Um, but sometimes it does, but to be honest, it looks so ridiculous for me. I just couldn't keep wearing it, um, but it does work pretty well. Um, so if you like wearing a bonnet, this is definitely a good option. For me, it tends to fall off and I really don't like how it looks at night, but it will protect your hair very well and in the morning you will have beautiful curls. So the third thing that I like to do is use a scarf. Now, um, I think for a lot of women, they can get away using a smaller scarf. Um, but for me, uh, because I guess my, my head is a bit bigger, um, I had to get a larger one. So I probably can't even fit this on frame. Um, but this is like 52 inches and I will link below where I got it. I'm not sure like how many she has in stock, but um, you know, if she has any, jump at the chance to buy them because they're great scarves. Um, this is a silk scarf and as you can see, it's very colorful, but I figure if you're gonna be wearing a scarf on your head at night, you might as well, you know, have some fun with it. So the way this one works is, um, so this looks like a square. I'm not sure if I can fit all this on the camera because it's so big, um, but it looks like a square and you take the two facing ends or the two opposite ends um, and fold them together so you can get a triangle shape. Kind of like, you know, this, which hopefully you can see. Um, and then from the opposite side of the ends, you just fold together, um, kind of find the middle, so it makes like a smaller triangle. Now this middle side that you just made, put this directly on the nape of your neck. So kind of like this. Now you're gonna take the two long ends, which you can probably see here, 
and cross them over your forehead, which is right here, not catching this end piece. You're gonna do that like here. And don't pull it too tight. Honestly, this takes a little bit of trial and error so you can like really feel what works for you and what won't fall off at night. But basically you'll be left with one long end out like this and two um, ends that you just tied. So take these two ends that you just tied. You can probably see there's the cross right here. My hair is under here. And go around the back of your head. Let me see if I can show this. So go around the back of your head like this and just cross like this kind of. Don't tie it or anything. You're just kind of like tying, tying it around your head. So you're gonna come back right here and kind of go over this like hanging down part like here. And I like to pull it out a little bit just so your hair has a little bit of room to move and just tie like a knot like this. And then these extra ends, you're gonna kind of twist them over here and tuck them into the side. And you'll be left with something like this, which you know is definitely a look, but we're not going for stylish when we sleep, we're just going for good curls in the morning. Um, so I know this is probably not for everybody, but if you want the best way to preserve your curls, your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, they might have an opinion about this, but um, it's the best way to sleep with your curls, in my opinion. So that is kind of my night routine for now. I am going to go get some rest and I will see you guys in the morning. Morning guys. Well, it's the next day and as promised, um, I'm going to take you through my morning styling routine. Um, so make sure you have your coffee with you um, and hope you guys slept well last night. So first thing you're going to want to do is to take this off. Um, and it can really vary how well this works, but usually it's pretty good. And hopefully you can see why I'll use it shortly. Um, so everything's kind of pretty well contained. Um, I'll take out this scrunchie or hair tie. And then um, you're just gonna kinda wanna bend over and just shake it out at the root. Trying to free up all those curls. And you can probably see they're still there, but there's kind of some weird shapes left over from uh, sleeping the night before. Um, so there's a couple things you can do. Let's say I want to wear this hair again, just down. Um, I'm gonna want to, you know, kind of shake it out. Um, sometimes I'll put some water on it, which kind of helps some of the, the kinks reform into curls. Um, and sometimes I'll do like a half up, half down style. I think for the purposes of this video, I'm going to um, make it look good down today. Um, Cause really the half up, half down style is more of something I do when um, I'm really in a rush or um, I'm not able to make it work down the next day. But like since it's been down, it's already kind of starting to uh, come back to normal and all this sort of feels good. Um, but the part that feels weird to me is underneath where it's been like right back here where it's been squished up all night So all I'm gonna do today actually um, Is take a water bottle um, This is one I found on Amazon. It's like continuous um, And I am just going to spray kind of along the perimeter um, here and here um, just to kind of loosen up the uh, pattern that's been sort of pressed down all night um, and don't use too much the water can create some frizz if you know you're spraying it everywhere so I'm just gonna do kind of here and smooth it on and 
here. Um, smooth it on. Go down. Smooth it on. Here. Smooth it. And then one other thing I've been doing. So you remember last night I used the um, Carl Smith uh, full length density elixir. Um, and please excuse me, you can probably tell I just woke up, but that's okay. Um, and But today I'm gonna be using the scalp stimulating booster. Um, and it comes in a bottle kind of like this, but I have moved it into a dropper bottle just because it's a bit easier for me to apply. So I'm just going to grab uh, one dropper full and apply it the same way I did the stimulating booster. Uh, just kind of on your scalp, all over, on the sides, like that. And there's a little bit left, but that's okay. A dropper is more than enough. Go in and just kind of massage it in. Again, try not to create too much frizz. Um, just kind of give yourself a nice massage. All right, and honestly, I would just kind of shake things out just to make sure they're a little bit even. Um, and I will, I have my, uh, my hand mirror here, so you can see. I'm just gonna kind of check the back to make sure it's not overly flat. Which you can probably see here, it's not too bad. And honestly, the reason this was so easy was just because I slept with it wrapped up last night. Um, so it looks pretty, you know, it, it looks a certain way. You know, some people may like that look, um, but it does work. So I would recommend doing it if you can put up with it. Um, so this is actually probably good for me to go um, out of the house today and I would be happy to wear this out. But let's just say it was, um, really bad, uh, it was unmanageable, or um, I, I didn't want it flying around all day. Um, and sometimes I'll use this hairstyle throughout the day, um, is I'll do a half up, half down style with a clip. Um, so the way you're gonna do this is push all your hair back, kind of like this, and um, you're gonna wanna grab like here and kind of graze along the side of your head without like taking too much hair and kind of shake it up to kind of get like a bit of like volume right here. And then you're just gonna clip it up like this. So this might be another hairstyle I would do um, if I, you know, was having a hard time in the morning, didn't have enough time, um, or throughout the day when I just wanted to get my hair out of my face, um, so you can see it from the front, side, and the back, and I just like kind of, kind of how it has this like, you know, sort of mohawk -y effect, well it's not really a mohawk, but sort of like the way it looks in the back, um, and that's pretty much my hair for today, but I'm going to wear it down. Um, and I will be back with you guys tonight to show you how I prepare it for sleep. Hey guys, welcome back. So it is nighttime and I figured I would show you my night routine one more time, just in case you didn't catch it the first time. Um, so as you remember, I have been using the Curl Smith Full Length Density Elixir, so we're just gonna use uh, one drop full of that. Um, and again, just kind of applying it all over our scalp. And I mean, another another thing I've noticed about this product actually is um, I had some problems with dandruff and I'm having a little bit less problems with that since I've started using these two products as well. So um, they must have some pretty good ingredients that are good for your scalp just in general. And again, we're gonna give ourselves a good massage because you deserve it. 
and I will let you guys see before I wrap my hair um, kind of how it's looking after two days. Um, so it's actually still looking pretty good. Um, I, if you get really close, I can notice a little bit more frizz and that's completely normal just because it gets blown around throughout the day. Um, I wasn't super gentle with it today. I went to the gym and put it up, put it down, had it in a clip. Um, so you can see that even with uh, not too much care, it's still looking okay. Um, here's the back, side, other side. And I'm gonna go through one more time how I tie the scarf. So if you remember how to do that from last time, you can skip ahead till tomorrow morning. Um, but for those of you who'd like to see again, we will go through one more time. So again, this is a 52 inch scarf. Um, I'm gonna start from the very beginning. Um, you're gonna go from it being square. You're gonna fold the two opposite edges together to make a big triangle. Um, just kind of like this. And then from the opposite side of this end, so that's somewhere down here, you're gonna grab it and make a smaller triangle, kind of like this. Um, this part that's folded, that will go on the nape of your neck. Now, before you do this, you're gonna to wanna to put all your head, your hair, sorry, up into a ponytail on the top of your head with one of these scrunchies or kind of phone coil hair ties. And the reason you're using that is because it doesn't leave as bad of a dent in your hair as if you use like a thin hair tie. And again, I just kind of loop it through once. All right, so now go back to this, grabbing the part in the middle away from the point of the triangle. Nape of your neck. So you're gonna take the two long ends, make sure they're even, cross them over your forehead, kind of like you're tying a shoelace, and I kind of check to make sure they're even as I go. Don't pull it too tight, but um, you want it tight enough so it doesn't fall off your head at night. Then, you're gonna swing around the back of your head, crossing over, you're not tying anything back here, just kind of crossing in. And then you're going to kind of lean your head up, go over this tail, and just tie a knot. And kind of before I do the whole knot, I'm going to pull a little slack out just so I have some room. Tie it once. And then tie it once more. And you're gonna take the tails, stick them into this side, and you are done. So, if I wasn't filming this video, I may just decide to wear my hair up tomorrow, in which case I'd probably just put a pineapple on and not do the scarf. Um, but since I wanna show you guys how to style it um, curly and down when it's in a more rough state, um, I'm going to take care of it tonight so that it looks better in the morning. Um, thank you guys for watching this far and tomorrow we will show you how to do day three. So it is day three and our third and final day of showing you how to style hair over three days. Um, as I usually do in the morning, I'm gonna take this down. Slept it very well last night. Um, hope you did too. Uh, and you can see, you know, same, everything's kind of held together very nice. I'm going to take out the hair tie and shake out my hair. Hopefully it's not too hard to deal with today, but we shall soon see. Um, and so first thing I'll do is kind of like look in the mirror to see, you know, what we're dealing with. Um, it's not looking too crazy. I'm seeing a little bit of the curls kind of pulled out around here, around here, and just like a general level of frizz. Um, let's look at the back. All right. So actually it's not too bad. Um, usually what I would do on, the, on my third day is probably wear it up just because 
I like to switch it up, but today we're gonna show you how to style this into something manageable. Um, first, I'm gonna put my scalp stimulating booster on as I always do in the morning. Uh, one dropper full. Um, just gonna put that all over. Um, like that. Massage it in. All right, so today what I'm gonna do um, is kind of like around the canopy. So that's gonna be the hairs on the top, um, on the back, like here, and on the sides, I'm gonna spray it down. But the difference today is that I'm going to use um, a mixture of uh, leave-in conditioner and water. Um, and I do that because I feel like the leave-in conditioner on it by itself is a little bit too heavy. Um, but this will rehydrate some of the products in my hair. And then I'm going to follow up with a uh, gel just to kind of smooth things down. And then um, I'm gonna quickly diffuse it. So I'm not trying to completely saturate my hair, but I wanna get it um, wet enough that the curls can kind of start to clump back together. Um, again, you can get these spray bottles on Amazon. I'm gonna let that kind of go. And start spreading it down. Good way to wake up in the morning. And spraying yourself with water. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go back over. And you wanna get enough water because if you don't, it's gonna get a little frizzy. Now we're gonna get under here. Um, sometimes finding the ratio of conditioner to water is a little difficult. Um, you need something that feels good in your hair and doesn't feel like greasy or too much liquid. Um, the other thing you can do, which I'm gonna do a little just to show you, um, is finger coil to bring back some of the curls. Um, but they need to be a little wet when you do that. So let me find one that would be a good example. So here, see here, these are kind of pulled out. So you're gonna kind of go like this, curl, and that one probably needs to be a little bit more wet, really, to get this going. This is just my regular water. So, you can see, it kind of becomes a curl. Um, I'm going to keep spraying my hair down. Again, a good bit of water to, to do this. I feel like you're getting too much leave-in conditioner, you can always just switch to regular water. And I would say now my hair is probably um, maybe 30% wet. So I'm definitely getting some water on it. So that should be about good. All right, and I'm gonna take a bit of gel. Today I'm using the Hydro Style Flexi Jelly from Curlsmith. Um, not too much, but enough. I'm using not that much. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of glaze this. Okay, I'm, I'm the reason I did that is just to get it kind of to fall, like where it's gonna be laying. So I'm not putting gel where it doesn't need to be. I'm just kind of glazing it all over. And this is really gonna like refresh the hair. I, I could probably wear this for a few more days actually after I do this. Um, just kind of give it a little squish like this. And then you're gonna diffuse. So I'm gonna 
Um, use my Dyson hair dryer on low heat, high speed, um, and I will put this in the time lapse while I'll do this. All right, so now that you're all dry, you're going to kind of scrunch out that gel cast. There's a little bit of wetness left, but you know, nothing that a bit of air drying can't fix. Um, go down, shake up the roots. And like I said, it still needs to air dry maybe about, you know, 10 to 15 minutes or so. But uh, this is definitely something you could wear for a few more days if you wanted to. So here's how it looks from the front. On the side, and from the back, and there you have it. That's three days of how I wear my hair. So I know this was a long video. I really appreciate you watching. If you still watch this, the whole thing till the end. Um, if you'd like to follow me, you can um, on Instagram at datwin, D-A-T dot W-I-N. Um, and I also have a TikTok, datwin as well. Um, so I hope you guys have a great day. And until next time, thanks.